Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy IX. Today, oh, we are going treasure hunting. Oh, are we going treasure hunting? So as you can see, I already picked one Chocograph to go with. Let's open up the Chocograph menu. We're gonna be doing uncultivated land first. Now, we already did some of these way back in the day just because we could and we wanted to upgrade our Chocobo. So we got eight out of the 20 found so far. I think I mentioned this already, but the last four, we're not gonna find for a little bit of time. Um, we're a little bit of time. It won't be too long, but there's a, there's only actually 24 chocographs too in the game. So we're, we're nearing the end of this. Uh, but yeah, let's start with uncultivated land. I'm near the area. Uh, I think we passed this area early and I told you that there was going to be a chocograph, a chocobath, chocograph relatively in this area in the future, which is somewhere in here. Actually, you know what? Right here. Let's let's look, let's look, let's look. I'm I'm like kind of bad. Oh no, baby, it's like right over here. There it is. Found a treasure chest. What do we get for this one? Found ten antidotes, one jade armlet, and three wing edge, and a cargo ship card, which is not really important because we're never gonna play the card game ever again, ever again. Now we get the cold. Oh, we might as well look at the. The hint. So the treasure is buried near a river, Kapu, but I, but I don't think it'll be easy to find. Maybe you should leave it alone for now, Kapu. No, what? That is not a good hint. Uh, next up is the cold field, which I think is on the the mountain. Not mountain, but it's like uh, what's it called? God damn it! The the continent where Asa Garzo is, maybe. But yeah, that's next on the list. I tend to just go down the list and instead of going them, which would be in easiest order, it's not the not the best way to do it. But it's I it's in my mind. I'm like, okay, I have a list here. Let's go down the list and clear it out. So yeah, cold field. Look it looks like a very cold place, Kapu. There are other things you could ride besides Chocobo, Kapu. Kinky. All right, this is what they were talking about for the cold field, which is somewhere up here. It's not, ah, oh, it's right there. I was gonna say, it's not in that big brown circle up there, but it should be close to it. What do we get for this one? We get five eco screens or echo screens, seven H uh, high potions. Speaking is hard today, apparently children. Three tents and a theater ship card. Again, completely useless because I'm never gonna play that goddamn card game. Uh, you also want to get some dead peppers if you haven't already. I was able to get 18 of them through all the chocograph farming that I did, which was annoying to say the least. But there are other spots that we can actually dig up with that. I'll go over in a little bit after we get all these chocographs because, uh, not because, but uh, we'll, we need to go pretty much back to uh, Q's dwelling in Trino as well to use one of these. So we'll get to that in the future. So don't worry about it. Uh, next up, we want to do the Forgotten Lagoon. Kapu, why not go play in icy cold water? Some treasure is hidden in the shallows, Kapu. You are useless, Moogle. Now this should be the place we're looking for. It's just south of the Shimmering Isles. Yeah, you can kind of tell by the, well, the hook on the cliff. There we go. Uh, if you don't know where I am, you can just look at the mini map and see. Like I said, with the, the Ocean Chocobo, you can go pretty much anywhere you need to go right now. We get eight Gressel Greens, five Ethers, seven, eight, uh, seven HP, huh? seven High Potions, and one Dragon Claws, which is some of the best, best uh, claws in the game, which is gonna be nice to have. Though, I believe they're water element, so we're going to have to be careful with that, because a lot of the enemies coming up are water element. So we might want to finish that before we actually move on. Um, next is the Faraway Lagoon. I heard there is a long stretch of reef. That might be it, Kapu. It feels really far away if your chocobo isn't grown up, Kapu. Alright, if you check the map in the picture, that should be what we're looking for. Um, yeah, alright, where is it? Where are you, baby? Oh, I'm so close. I can taste it. Actually, I think you're in here, aren't you? Yeah. Even if doing this so many times, I still don't know the exact location. 37 potions, 6 magic tabs, 1 shield armor, and 1 Gaia gear. Shield armor and Gaia gear are new, two new pieces of equipment. Both will come in handy. Gaia gear, I believe, still absorbs earth elemental damage. 
Uh, and shield arm is just nice to have, if you're, especially if you're a completionist. And next on the list is the Abandoned Lagoon. I hear there's a sunken treasure near the peninsula in the southern part of the Outer Continent, Kapu. Start your search on the small beach, Kapu. Awful directions. Alright, I believe this is it. Yeah, it is. There we go. What do we get for this one? We get six softs, four ethers, one further boots, which is nice. Now I can work on auto float with two people. And one Enkai armlet. Don't really know what Enkai is, but you know, we have its armlet now. Next up is the Forbidden Forest. Now this is all the way back on the Mist Continent. It's actually right where, like a little bit before Trina, I believe. The forest lies where the many mountain ranges merge, Kapu. You need to go over a very high mountain. We could have gotten this one, well, actually probably pretty early in comparison to the other ones. But yeah, let's head back to the Mist Continent. Did I say Trino? I meant Dolly. It's actually right down here in the center of this thing. So we found another treasure, go figure. That's what we're doing. So that's what we're gonna be finding. We got seven ethers, lovely. Two elixirs, never gonna use them. 10 winged edge and a high mage staff, which will come into handy for Vivi in the near future. It's about time we started getting some new staffs for Vivi. He's been using the same goddamn thing since disc two. All right, so next up is the Dusk Plains. See, what a beautiful sunset, Kapu. At a certain location on the Forgotten Continent, it's always dusk, Kapu. D did I say Dusk Plains? Because we totally can't do that or Forgotten Plains just yet. But we can do C at dusk, so let's go find that one. Funnily enough, I was actually right next to the Sea at Dusk trochograph when I was saying that we couldn't do the Forgotten Plains one. Guess I should have really looked out my menu and uh, checked out the area before skipping to here. All right, come on, there we go. Always hard to find. I mean, it really shouldn't be. I just have a bad memory sometimes. So we got 15 Phoenix Pinions, one White Robe, which is nice, one Diamond, which is really good, and a Masamoon card. Again, it's a card, so we're never gonna use it, but everything else is nice. Diamonds are rare, though we don't use them that often. Though, they're rare, so they're worth having. Okay, next up is the ocean. Look carefully, there's a small reef, Kapu. Call a chocobo near this place, Kapu. All right, look at the map. This is where you wanna be, on an island where there's chocobo tracks, and then you wanna head out a little bit this way and start digging, and eventually, You'll get it? Come on, you know you want to. We gotta go a little bit further then. This one is probably the hardest one, if I had to guess. Because it's, there we go. It's literally just a picture of an ocean. Like, uh, yeah, I probably, when I first did this, I probably actually had to look up for a goddamn walkthrough back in the day. Anyways, we get 27 ore, which is that, one light robe. One Whale Whisker, which is, I believe, the strongest racket you can get. And one Alexander card, which is nice to have. Okay, so next up, what are we going to be going for? We got Cold Lagoon. I believe that's going to be it. Yeah. Wow, we went through that pretty fast, actually. All right, we're near the last chocograph for the time being, which should be like right here. Yeah. What do we get for this one? We get 11 peridots, nine opals, 15 sapphires, and 19 topazes, which is actually not bad if you're planning on using dagger as an offense caster. Um, like I said earlier, when we first get the summons, the more of of the summons gems that you have, more of the Adolans gems that you have, the stronger it is when you summon it, the more damage it will do or more health it will heal, etc., etc. So if you want to do an offensive route with Dagger, you need to collect these gems because if you don't, her summons are going to be pretty lackluster. So now that we got all the Chokograffs, there are some additional treasures that we want to get. And here's one right now. See these little bubbles? It might be actually hard. Actually, you know what? Let's open that up. Cancel. Get that picture off the screen. See the bubbles? It might actually be kind of hard. It doesn't look like it's going to be that hard to see on the screen. But you go on top of it and feed them a dead pepper. Okay. 
And we found a treasure at the bottom of the ocean. We got 50 potions, 25 high potions, nine ethers, seven elixirs, which will never be useful, and discarded items over 99. I'm assuming those are the potions. So yeah, there are little foamy spots inside the ocean that we can use a dead pepper on, which will get us treasures. But remember what I did, like, the clue what I just said was foamy spots. What other place did we see a foamy spot in the ocean that wasn't exactly on the ocean? Now we're back here at Quan's dwelling. If we go over here, there's something at the bottom of the ledge in the ocean. Looks like foam. Use a dead pepper? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's really good. It's higher than I thought. <laughs> Beat him the dead pepper. Ah, 10 out of 10. I like it. And we found another treasure. We get nine ore, 15 topazes, one tiger ragged, tiger uppercut, one red rose card. Oh, I get it now. No, you don't get it now. I guess that's supposed to be one of the clues for you to actually figure out that these locations exist. Though, to be honest, I never actually really got it from this. I got it from online walkthroughs way back in the day. Our next dive location, there's four of these in total, by the way. If you look on the map, it's kind of pretty much north from where Quan's dwelling is. Also, now that I think about it, we could have actually probably went behind Quan's dwelling and used the dead pepper there. I've never tried that before. I always like diving from the fishing area just because it's hilarious. Now we found a treasure at the bottom of the ocean. We get eight straw hats, eight pearl armlets, seven Aloha t-shirts, and eight sandals. This is joke equipment. We actually don't have a complete set yet, but we have enough equipment pretty much for all the characters to wear these Aloha outfits, these tropical Hawaiian outfits, though it doesn't do anything towards our appearance and it's the worst gear in the game. But humor, it's humor, people. It's a joke item. All right, this one's actually kind of hard to find because you might not think you can actually come like behind this one. And no, no, that's the wrong one. We want to use the dead pepper, not open the chocograph menu. We're not going to be using that for a little bit while longer. What do we get? We got 10 remedies, which is nice. One black robe, which is pretty good. And one Genji gloves and a blue narcissist card. Again, neat. Now, the dive points aren't the only dead pepper spots that we can use, or I guess not use, but more dig up, find treasure. Another one is there are, there are cracks in a mountain that we can actually use these dead peppers on. And let's go find some now. We're gonna go talk to like the no one I know like right off the top of my head is up in the frozen continent, the uh, shimmering isles up north. All right, we're on the Shimmering Isles, and this is the crack that we want to go to here. This is what you want to be on the lookout for. There's not that many of these in comparison to the dive spots, and there's only, I think, two of them right now. Did I really just miss that? Oh, God dang it, Bobby. Come on, get... get come on. Oh. There we go. Do it. There we go. God. But there's only two locations that we can do right now in comparison to the uh, dive spots. We got 41 Lapis Lutazulis, which is dumb, one Rosetta Ring, and one Protect Ring, which is an amazing ring that halves all damage from any elemental spell and an intercept card. There's also some unique abilities we can learn from the Protect Ring. And here is another crack in the mountain. It's actually the last one we're gonna be able to do for right now. This one, though, doesn't give us treasure. The crack crumbled and opened up a hole! <laughs> Kinky. Magnet Central. So yeah, this is Magnet Central. This is where all the letters come from that we deliver to the Moogles. Well, where they're supposed to come from, but mail's been kind of slow lately. And everyone's worried that Magnet's gonna go out of business. There's really not much we can do right now, unless, you know, just talk to some people, including this person over here. Uh, I shouldn't have used so much of it on myself. I only did it because it makes my coat so soft and shiny. 
But if after I used it all up, the gears started to grind. Gee, I wonder what they could have used to make their coat so soft and shiny. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head on my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.